So let's take a look at an unknown molecule that is actually similar to dopamine that can increase fat loss in humans. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. And if you've been enjoying these videos, please like the video and hit subscribe to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. So the molecule that I'm referring to today is called N-cumeral dopamine. So N-cumeral dopamine is a naturally occurring beta-2 adrenergic receptor agonist that is actually extracted from Theobroma cacao. So again, many of you have probably used cacao extract or have consumed cacao maybe to increase alertness, mood, and overall well-being. Now, what's really important to note is that this N-cumeral dopamine is a beta-2 adrenergic agonist. Now, beta-2 agonists are the most effective mechanism for inducing fat loss in humans. Now, some examples for strong beta-2 agonists are actually ephedrine and clenbuterol. Now, many of you have probably heard the saying, uh, trend hard, eat, clen, anavar, give up. <laughs> which is a saying that goes around in the bro science communities, something that's oftentimes thrown around um, as a stack to promote fat loss and improve muscle growth, which is not safe, obviously. But ultimately, we can see that some other examples of better to adrenergic agonists include ephedrine and clenbuterol. Now, inside the body, N-cumeral dopamine gets broken down into dopamine. Now, due to its structure, it is highly selective to specifically the beta-2 receptor, not beta-1, which is responsible for the heart palpitations. Now, many of you don't really, probably aren't aware of this, that clenbuterol is marketed or you know promoted online as a beta-2 agonist, but it actually can agonize the beta-1 receptor as well, which probably explains all of the major side effects. Now, n dopamine works by actually increasing the messenger molecule cyclic adenosine monophosphate or cyclic AMP. Now, cyclic AMP activates a process called lipolysis, which is when your cells release fatty acids to be burned as energy. Now, who can guess what else increases cyclic AMP? Well, caffeine is also known to raise cyclic AMP and also the other fat burner and testosterone booster, coleus for scolin, is also known to raise cyclic AMP. Hey guys, if you're watching this video right now and want to unlock your full mental and physical potential, then the Limitless course is for you. Unlock my best biohacks for energy, motivation, and testosterone optimization so that you can conquer your goals with ease and crush every day with confidence. Click the link in the description and get it now for only $27 today. All right, now let's get straight back into the video. Now, elevated levels of this cyclic AMP have also been associated with increased vasodilation, increased metabolic rate or thyroid hormones, and increased energy expenditure at rest. With that in mind, n dopamine, one of the key messengers as I just spoke about is cyclic AMP. Now, we need to think of this cyclic AMP as a manager of signals in the body. The receptor sends the signal to cyclic AMP, and then it passes on the relevant information to make the bodily functions occur. Now, cyclic AMP actually plays a role in an endless list of functions in the body, such as regulating thermogenesis, inducing lipolysis, and the oxidation of fatty acids. It can also increase vasodilation, as I mentioned previously, and even nutrient uptake and oxygen delivery to skeletal muscles. So we can see here, this diagram basically outlines the cyclic AMP elevations following n cumeral dopamine. We can see that it raises those levels. Now, through this increased release of cyclic AMP from turning on uh, one of the, the, well, the beta-2 adrenergic receptors, um, we have some very desirable effects that can occur. For fat loss, the increase in not only the metabolic rate, but the resting metabolic rate and caloric expenditure is hugely beneficial. Now, throw in the increased breakdown of fats through lipolysis and the increased burning of fatty acids, and we have a really ramped up, we've revved up the body's ability to utilize fats as a fuel source. And we're also seeing a breakdown in the stored fat to be used in this increased caloric expenditure. One really important point to note with this particular molecule is there's one major drawback associated with its use, 
And that is that this compound is unfortunately rapidly metabolized by the COMT enzyme or the catechol or methyltransferase enzyme. So this COMT enzyme, you've probably seen mentioned with other supplements and products. This enzyme actually breaks down dopamine and norepinephrine. Now, fortunately for you, there is a little trick and a way around this, and that is to stack n coumarol dopamine with a natural COMT inhibitor like coffee, quercetin, or EGCG from green tea. Um, so again, we can stack n coumarol dopamine with coffee or quercetin or EGCG from green tea to sustain its beneficial effects in the body and promote further fat loss. So as far as typical dosages are concerned with n coumarol dopamine, they have not been well established, but it seems to have an effect in the 20 to 40 milligram dosage range. That's 20 to 40 milligrams. Now, if you want to know a little bit about some other better two agonists, we have Solbutamol, Levalbuterol, Formetrol, Salmetrol, ter Terbutaline, Valanterol, Indicatorol, Olodaterol, and Clenbuterol, which I mentioned previously. Now, these medicines are actually primarily used to treat asthma and other respiratory conditions by relaxing smooth muscles in the airways, leading to bronchodilation and improved blood flow. Now, obviously, these medications need to be used under the guidance of a healthcare professional, as many of them can have unwanted side effects and also have many contraindications. So hopefully you learned something new about an unknown underground molecule, n coumarol dopamine, as a novel ingredient that you may want to consider in your fat loss stack. That's it from me today. Hopefully you learned something new. If you did like the video, please smash that like button and drop a comment down below to help the algorithm. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon.